Mr. Chairman, I resent the fact that the member is making an accusation against me. It's not uh, how this works. So you're obligated to provide fulsome answers to the committee. I'm going to ask you again, who is Randy? Mr. So, Chair, I respectfully uh, say so that... Please please don't interrupt, sir. And I should be able to answer. Just we're, do so honestly. We're, we're uh, past the time, Mr. Barrett. Thank you. Before we begin, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead, Mr. Brock, go ahead on the point of order. Thank you, Chair. And given the, uh, the nature of the anticipated evidence and the controversy surrounding it, um, I will be requesting that both witnesses be sworn or uh, affirmed to tell the truth. Okay, thank you, Mr. Brock. So uh, you're moving a motion to uh, have the witnesses swear an oath or affirm. Okay, so any, uh, any objection to that, Mr. Uh, Nackby? Go ahead. Thanks, Chair. I will object to this. We've had this conversation before in other committees with Mr. Brock on the other side asking for something similar. And I've always made the point that that's not the practice um, in parliamentary committees. It is, it is assumed that all, all witnesses are going to be telling the truth. Uh, this is not required by the standing orders uh, either. And I think uh, it sets a dangerous precedent. And I think it, it really undermines um, the, 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 the witnesses in terms of that they may somehow will not be sharing the truth if they are not sworn and affirm. And so I, I, I request that uh, this motion be denied. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, just uh, for clarification's sake to uh, Mr. Brock, uh, you did move this on a point of order, so I'm going it, to, you can't move it on a point of order. I've been uh, notified by the clerk on that. Uh, I see that we have no consensus on this. Uh, I do see Mr. Fisher's hand. I had uh, Mr. Green, then Mr. Vilmuir uh, on this. Uh, so effectively, the uh, the point of order uh, and movement of the motion, uh, you know, there's no discussion to be had at this point because it was moved on a point of order. So I am going to uh, not allow this to happen. I don't see any further discussion on this. Uh, I see Mr. Vilmuir's hand is down. Mr. Fisher, do you have... Uh, Okay. I was going to say exactly what you said, okay. Mr. Chair. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, so we're going to uh, we're going to go to six minute rounds, and we're going to start with Mr. Barrett. Mr. Barrett, go ahead, please. Mr. Anderson, who's Randy? As I said in my opening remarks, I would be delighted to share that information with you in camera only, simply based on the turmoil that I have gone through in my personal life. Uh, sir, that's not uh, how this works. So you're obligated to provide fulsome answers to the committee. I'm going to ask you again, who's Randy? Randy, as I said in my opening statement, was an autocorrect. Okay. Who, is, who are Shauna and Felix at Global Health Imports? Shauna Parker was in our shipping department. Felix was the account manager for the Quebec government. In 2022, who were the partners at GHI? In September, federal corporate registries in September of 2021 was registered as me, provincially registered. It was both myself and Minister Boisenault. According to text messages we have from you from September 6, 2022, Randy and Felix were to have a partner vote on a wire transfer to your business. It says, quote, so we are game tomorrow, or what do we expect will be the delay tomorrow. I am sending email to Randy and Felix right now, but I know if I send this and we miss tomorrow, it will be done. They will have a partner vote on this. End quote. A partner vote on a multi-million dollar deal. Um, that Randy is not an autocorrect. That's Randy Boissano, correct? No. Mr. Chair, I, I respect the question. However, Global Health, we, were, we had two companies, Global Health Imports and Global Healthcare Solutions. Okay, so how many Randys at GHI have ever participated in partner votes? Global Health Imports up until September of 2021 was Mr. Boisenault. And then you replaced him with another Randy? As I've told you, it was an autocorrect for another company. And okay. I would certainly share that with you if you would like so it's to not, go in camera. Not, not Global Health Imports? We were, if you're referring to an ongoing text message that was sent by Global News from the Gowie Group, which is where I'm assuming you're, this is where this is going, the Gowie Group had a contract in place with Global Health Imports and Global Healthcare Solutions. So another text message from you says, sorry, I'm very confused. I updated Randy, Shauna, Felix, and our CFO. Yikes, OMG, this lady has me crazy, end quote. Was that an autocorrect or was that Randy Boissano? 
Randy Boisnold was never involved in the operating business of Global Health Imports after September of 2021. So we've got Randy, Shauna, and Felix, but it's and it's a partner call, but you maintain that it's not Randy Boisnold. This Mr. So, Chair, I respectfully uh, say so that please please don't interrupt, sir. How many people work for Global Health Imports? What's the total staff complement? 121. How many are named Randy? Global Health Imports, there was one up until September 2021, Randy Guazano. You, uh, Mr. Anderson, um, what happened to the half million dollars that was um, paid to GHI by Gowie Group? That is an ongoing litigation. There was a decision and it has been publicized by the courts as of last year. Okay, I stopped the uh, clock. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Green. I point. say this uh, for respect uh, of the witness. It, it might be helpful, uh, Mr. Chair, if you apprise the witness of uh, what his privileges are in this committee in terms of what can and can't be used against him so that he can answer the committee in a full way re without having to kind of rely on uh, the civil litigation. But if it's my understanding through you, sir, to the clerk or whomever wants to clarify, that he also uh, assumes privilege when, te when testifying here Therefore, anything that is said here cannot, as I understand, legally be used against him in a civil proceeding. Is that correct? Yeah, uh, Mr. Green, I, I was actually going to intervene shortly on this and uh, remind Mr. Anderson that he is in front of a parliamentary committee, that uh, the full privileges uh, are applied to him as they are to members uh, with respect to parliamentary privilege, and that uh, Mr. Anderson does have an obligation to answer to the best of his ability, the uh, questions that are being asked by committee members. And so, sir, I'm going to ask that you respect uh, as equally the privileges of members to ask these committees and uh, your obligation uh, to answer them with an understanding that you are protected uh, by parliamentary privilege. So I am going to uh, continue the clock, and I want to thank you, Mr. Green, for that intervention. Mr. Barrett, you have two minutes and 31 seconds. Go ahead, please. Did Randy Boissonneau uh, uh, receive any benefit from the $500,000 payment from Gowie Group to your company? Gowie Group contact, Mr. Chairman, was entered into in September of 2022. As we've reiterated, Mr. Boissonneau was not involved with the company after September of 2021. In, in, 2020, 20, in 2022, uh, where was GHI's office? It was in Edmonton, is that correct? We had two offices. And yes. where were they? Edmonton and Broussard, Quebec. So text from you on September 8th, 2022 say, sorry to be an annoyance. I have them all on me. Everyone is in the office and asking, everyone being Randy, Shauna, and Felix. Is that right? Who, who, would, who was everyone that was on you in respect to that text message? In September of 2021, 2022, we had a vandalism which the Edmonton City Police were involved with at 3.42 in the morning, and there was a break and enter and an arson in our facility. We so, were so I just need to know, who was everyone? Is it Randy, Sean, and Felix? No, it was all employees that worked in the building. Okay. The text goes on to say, I have Felix walking in and Shauna every 15 minutes. Was, was And that's in this text message. Was Randy there in Edmonton? No. The text continues and says, calling Randy now to advise. Randy was, was he the, the principal? Is that why Randy needed to be made aware? You're referring to a text message, Mr. Chairman, for 2022. Randy Boisnold, I have not spoken to in 2022. Okay. Nor so on text message, which he supplied his text messages to the ethics okay. commissioner, which has ruled we haven't so, spoken. So, so let's let's put it this way: September six, twenty twenty-two, where you say you need to update Randy on a wire transfer because the West Coast Coast is closing in seven minutes, and Randy is in the Vancouver office. Do you know what Randy was in Vancouver Vancouver on September six, two thousand twenty-two? Well, it was Liberal Cabinet Minister Randy Boissonneau in Vancouver at a cabinet retreat. So you say it's an autocorrect. That's quite the autocorrect, sir. Mr. Chairman, I resent the fact that the member is making an accusation against me. 
As I'm I not making said, an accusation. Said, I'm, I'm, I'm showing you and reading your text. Over time. Correct, you're allowed to ask a question. I should be able to answer. Just we're, do so honestly. We're, we're uh, past the time, Mr. Barrett. Thank you.